What's going on guys, Seth here from Team Union Seth, back as your coach of the Philadelphia Feroes for our week one matchup against the New York Garchomps for the RPL, the Reborn Pokemon League, the league that I am commissioning. So, as you guys can see on the screen, my team consists of Skarmory, Cresselia, Darmanitan, Tornadus Eye, Serena, Rotom, Suicune, Nidoqueen, Gudra, Perugly, and Megalopony. And his team has the Landorus Therian, Rotom Wash, Shaman, Umbreon, Silvali, Alolan Sandslash, Necrozma, Victini, Weezing, Shinotic, and Mega Mawile. So, his team is pretty threatening. Uh, the Mega Mawile can definitely be a problem. The Victini is obviously always a threat. And Landorus Therian is objectively one of the best mons in the format. Um, and then he has some, a couple of other mons that can be a little scary, like the Rotom, Shaman, and Umbreon can all be pretty bulky, as well as the Necrozma. Uh, and the Weezing can also be a little bit of a threat, but I don't foresee that uh, doing too much against my team. I don't really think he's going to bring the Sand Slash, the Shinotic, or the Silvali. Um, I don't really foresee uh, I don't really foresee the Shaman coming. I don't think it does a whole lot to my team, uh, especially with the Darmanitan, the Tornadus, uh, and the Nidoqueen. Um, Umbreon is definitely a possibility, but I do have things like Darmanitan, uh, Serena, and Lopunny that can handle it pretty well. Even Perugly can handle it. Uh, Rotom it could definitely come for the Darmanitan uh, to help with the Tornadus, so it could definitely be an option there, as well as to help with the Nidoqueen. Landorus I definitely think is coming and could be Scarf for, for the Lopunny, for the Darmanitan. Uh, the Mega Mawile I definitely think is coming. It can break through my team decently well. I can take a hit from Lopunny and kill it. You know, it can do a, it can do a lot of damage to my team. The Victini could be a little bit scary as well. Uh, I do have answers in the Cresselia and the Suicune for it. And even potentially the Gudra. Uh, Weezing could be pretty good against some of my offensive threats. Uh, and even Necrozma could be pretty decent. So, <clears throat> looking at what we are bringing this week. Starting off with our Megalopony. So, a Megalopony, we have uh, obviously the Lopunite. And starting off with Limber, it'll get the Scrappy once it Mega Evolves. We've got Drain Punch, Return, Ice Punch, and Power Up Punch. So, Drain Punch just for a general stab for his team. Um... We don't really need high jump kick this week. Drain Punch is doing the doing the job well enough. Return is really good against the team. Ice Punch will help with the Landorus, and then Power Up Punch if I can predict a switch or you know get a, a get a kill on something that's low in health. That would be really really nice. I can get the plus one and start really destroying his team. Next up we have Perugly. Uh, obviously it's a little redundant the normal types with Lopunny and Perugly, but I kind of like it. Uh, this week we are rocking the Choice Band with Defiant. So if he wants to defog with like the Landers or the Rotom or something like that, we can get that Defiant boost. We have the U-turn, return, knockoff, and play rough. So this he has this such thing actually has really good coverage against his team. U-turn, return, knockoff, and play rough do really really well against his team. Oh, I'm sorry, the Eevees for Lopunny. We have enough speed to outspeed uh, his base 100. So the Shaman and the Victini, uh, if they are Jolly Max speed, and then we have Max Attack with an Adamant Nature, and then the rest in HP and Defense. And then for our Perugly, again, we're running enough speed to outspeed his base, health, base 100s, max attack, and the rest in HP. Next up, we have our Darmanitan. We're actually running Psychium Z Darmanitan. So Darman Darmanitan is one of our Z users. And we have the Psychium Z there just for the Weezing, if necessary. So we have enough speed to outspeed a max speed Landorus, then max attack, and the rest in HP. All these sets are pretty simple. We have, you know, U-Turn, Flare Blitz, Super Power, Zen Headbutt. Just good coverage for his team. So I feel like we have a good matchup and just coverage is nice. Suicune, we are running Leftovers with the Pressure. We're running a basically a Crocoon set. Uh, Calm Mind, Rest, Sleep, Talk, and Scald. Max Physical Defense, 248 HP, 8 in Special Defense with the Bold Nature. Nothing too crazy here. This thing can take hits from his team. It set up Calm Minds. It can recover with the Rest. It can Sleep, Talk, Calm Mind, Scald, get some burns. Do all kinds of stuff there. So this thing is here kind of just to be annoying and to wear down some of his uh, bigger threats like the Victini um, and the Mawile, potentially. We have our Nido, King, our Nido Queen. So our Nido Queen is pretty much our dedicated lead. I want to get up Hazards. His Hazard Removing option. I, I want to force him to Defog. I want to force him to Defog so I can switch in to Perugly, get that Defiant boost, uh, and really start wrecking lives. So, with that... Uh, we're running the Focus Sash with the Sheer Force, we're running Toxic Spikes, Stealth Rock, Earth Power, and Ice. Toxic Spikes are pretty cool for his team, he doesn't have anything to absorb them, and they can really wear down some of his scary threats. Uh, mainly the Umbreon. Mainly that Umbreon can be super scary. 
Uh, and then the rocks, if I, want, if I want to get them up, I can. They'll do really well against the bikini. I'd like to try to get up two layers of hazards here if I can. Uh, stealth Rock and a Toxic Spikes. If I can't, not a huge deal. But we have enough speed to outspeed a defensive Landorus. So if he's defensive, I can go first, get up a set, of, get up a layer of hazards. He EQs or Stealth Rock, whatever he wants to do. Uh, and then I can fire back with my own hazards. And then I have the Earth Power and the Ice Beam just for coverage for his team, if need be. Last but not least, we have the Cresselia this week with the Rocky Helmet and Levitate with Moonlight, Calm Mind, Ice Beam, and Energy Ball. Again, setting up, this thing is fully physically defensive, max physical defense, 248 HP, 8 special defense. Same EV spread as the Suicune, uh, physically defensive to take on his physical threats. Moonlight for recovery, Calm Mind to set up and sweep, Ice Beam, and Energy Ball. Now this is kind of our main sweeper. Um, I can set up on a lot of things on his team, I have to get rid of a couple things first. But, this coverage does really well against his team. Uh, if I can wear his team down with other threats and then eventually set up with this thing, that is that will be optimal. So that is it for the team. Nothing too crazy. Pretty simple sets. Uh, but I feel like simple is effective this week. So that is it. Let me know what you guys think of the team. If there's anything you thought I could do differently. Or uh, just let me know what you guys think in general. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.